In 1939, Adolf Hitler invaded Poland, marking the start of World War II. By 1940, the war was in full swing, and every country needed the best technology in order to get ahead. Throughout this video, we will look at four very innovative aircrafts that were attempts to get ahead of the other countries. The first of which is the Antonov A-40KT. The Antonov A-40KT was a flying tank that was developed in the late 1930s. The A-40KT was simply a T-60 tank that had been lightened by removing excess armor and fuel and given wings. In making a flying tank, the Soviets would be able to allow the troops to glide into a battlefield in an armored tank. Once they were on the ground, the troops would be able to release the tank's wings and attack the enemies. The Soviets did this in order to gain an advantage over the Germans, as they would not expect tanks to fall from the sky. On its first test flight, the tank was toned down a runway into the air by a TB-3 bomber. Once in the air, the tank proved far from aerodynamic, causing the tow plane's engines to overheat. The bomber then released the flying tank in order to prevent its own demise, and the tank glided to a nearby field to land. The pilot then released the wings and drove back to base in the tank. After this incident, the tank was deemed too heavy to go into the air, and the project was abandoned. The next innovative aircraft is the Rota Buggy. Designed in 1943 by Austrian Ralf Hoffner of the British Airborne Forces, the Rota Buggy is a Willys Jeep converted into an autogyro. It aimed to provide a quick and efficient way of getting a Jeep onto the battlefield. The Rota Buggy would be towed into the air by a tow plane, then released to glide down to the battlefield. At the time of the Rota Buggy, the British were also experimenting with replacing parachutes with autogyro blades to enable the parachutist to control his direction in the air, thus being able to choose his landing spot. The first tests were conducted to measure the jeep's durability. This involved loading the jeep with concrete and dropping it from various heights up to 7.5 feet. The tests were successful. A 40-foot double-bladed rotor was then fitted to the jeep along with a skin-on-frame tail for directional stability. In November of 1943, the first test was conducted. It involved towing the rotor buggy down a runway behind a modified Bentley before becoming airborne at approximately 65 miles per hour. After many tests, the rotor buggy proved unstable, unsafe, and too hard to fly. The project was then abandoned. The next aircraft is the Vought V-173 aka the Flying Pancake. The V-173 was an American plane designed by Charles H. Zimmerman. He first proved his newfound idea of aerodynamics could work by demonstrating a radio-controlled model to the U.S. Navy in 1941. The plane was able to fly with full control at extremely low speeds, yet it could also fly faster than any conventional aircraft of its time. Due to these advantages, the V-173 was ideal for landing and taking off from aircraft carriers. In July of 1944, the U.S. Navy ordered two fully functioning V-173s for testing. The Navy performed many hours of testing on the V-173 where they redesigned it and built the XF-5UI. The XF-5UI began testing in 1947. It proved successful, but with the conclusion of the war and serious budget cuts, the project was terminated on March 17th of 1949. The final aircraft would be regarded by some as the most impressive. That aircraft is the Horton 229. The first Horton was a German glider designed by Rainier Horton in the 1930s. The first glider was built and tested in 1934. From there, Vermeer designed the HO-229. The HO-229, or Hicks, was the first successful single-wing jet-powered aircraft. At the time of the early development of the HO-229, World War II was in full swing, and the Germans needed all the technology 
they could get their hands on. The aircraft was capable of carrying nearly 2,200 pounds worth of bombs and could do so while flying up to 600 miles per hour. During the years of World War II, two fully functioning prototypes were developed and tested by the Germans. In 1945, Operation Paperclip was initiated by the U.S. in order to find and seize German technology. During Operation Paperclip, version 3 of the HO-229 was found and shipped to the U.S. Upon examination, Americans realized how technologically advanced the aircraft was. With incredible speed and being nearly undetectable by radar, many claim it was one of the Germans' best-kept secrets of World War II and could have given them what they needed to win the war if it would have been developed prior to their demise. Although many of the aircraft depicted were failures, World War II would not have had the same outcome it did if it would not have been for experimental aircraft.